Hey guys, so maulang umaga, hapon or gabi ulit sa, sa inyo. I know this has been a courageous day to everyone, especially dun sa mga pumasok, katulad ko. The good thing lang is, uh, nung mga bandang hapon, na nag-declare na rin na, na pwede na umuwi. So, ayun, kaya medyo naka nakahinga-hinga. Unfortunately, hindi ako masyado nakapag-trade today or at least hindi ako naka masyado naka nakasilip sa sa market. So, we'll see. Bye. Now, let's uh, go straight to our market recap. PSEI, uh, we closed out at minus 0.28%. Uh, we are already at the 7,855.18 points. Uh The good thing is we stayed above 7,800. Is the baga silver lining na lang din. Given all the uh, the news uh, that uh, we have heard since kagabi. And uh, kanina naglabas na nga yung mga news article regarding doon sa uh, doon sa yung kay Trump. Uh, wherein he threatens tariff uh, or additional tariff trade issues with uh, other uh, with other countries. If you remember uh, early this week, ba uh, or or last week, can okay, man? Ito na masaya ma- Ah yeah yeah. Um, last week, uh, nung naglabas ng parang ng bill si Trump na pag uh, pag agree o yeah pag agree doon sa nangyayaring Hong Kong protest and then today naman is uh, uh, nagthreaten naman siya ng tariff doon sa iba't ibang mga countries uh, which includes Brazil, Argentina and um, and France Obviously, after that, almost all markets, uh, especially the Asian markets, have been affected. Some of you might be wondering how, why, why that, what does that, what does that mean, or how it affects the the market? Well, simply lang naman. Instabi- instability affects market negatively. If there are negative news, especially sa US, which really drives uh, the Asian market as well, even the European market. So, bawa ba or tataas siya, depending on, uh, on the type of news. And this one is, is not really a good news. no, Because that can heavily impact yung trade relationship between US and the other countries as well. Okay? Now, uh, balik, tama, balik tayo dito sa, sa PSEI, no? How is it looking right now? To be honest, medyo hindi na maganda. Remember, we only have three weeks left bago matapos yung uh, yung, yung taon. What can we expect in the next three weeks? Well, nandiyan na yung inflation data which is scheduled to to be released on Thursday. And then next week naman is yung uh, Central Bank's final rate policy for the year. And then after that, wala na. Ngayon, uh, how can we trade or how do we see it? Well, ang nagiging pinaka-silver lining na lang ng, ng market natin is the build, build, build project ng, uh, ng administration. And uh, as we know, with the build, 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 yung property and yung uh, construction industry yung talagang nag-flourish dyan. Especially si uh, DMC or the likes of DMC and uh, Mega White. Let's look at DMC very quickly lang. No? Yeah. Kasi I remember uh, reporting this one yesterday because it reached another 52 week low and uh, it has found its support kahapon at um, 6.25 And then it try it tested it kanina. Puti na lang nag uh, nag uh, bounce back. So 
ayun in terms of the market summary ito nga yung sinasabi ko kanina uh, the volume is very low uh, 5.06 billion lang yung yung value turnover natin and uh, although the advancer yung mga nag-advance is 90 halos ticket pa rin sila with, uh, with the decline so it's not really um, a good day in terms of the of the trade maybe because of the weather i don't know siguro pero ako i i really think that this is because of the christmas season that most most traders and investors are already on the sideline and most likely are awaiting for the next year no so ayun now let's go to the 52 week uh, low and high as usual uh, we, we actually have two, two 52 week high today one is the popular Wilcon which closed at its new high of 19 pesos uh, this is a really exciting one and a really good value ah. oh, I mean volume 78.73 the other one is hindi ganun ka vo- kalaki volume wise F- eh, FGNG yeah uh, which close at uh, 113 value 4.72 uh, million and now now speaking of bagyo uh, typhoon maybe some of you are are wondering how does the typhoon affect the market well uh, technically any economy no man will have that uh, will have that issue no uh, especially dito sa atin na uh, we we are visited by a lot of typhoons um, in a year. I think 20 plus typhoons every year, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, alin yung mga industry? <clears throat> ano mga industry yung affected dito? Well, number one is telecoms, especially dun sa mga tinatamaan ng 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 bagyo uh, kapag nagkakaroon ng ng landfall. So yung mga uh, Ito, yung mga posting nila so that is uh, affected telecoms and power to be exact no? and uh, syempre once na may nasira naman na, na post eh, hindi naman nagadagad kaya itayo diba? so that takes a toll on their operational cost as well that's why kahit pa na medyo tinatamaan let's quickly check uh, like the likes of Meralco Meralco is green today. Uh, globe. Uh, globe is flat. Tel. Tel is looking good ha, at uh, 1.97. Hmm. Oh, uh, those are really good numbers. Uh, what else? Um, Shem, if you remember kanina, nagkaroon din ng issue. Even issue, pero advisory ang naiya that they are stopping all the all the flights today so of course uh, affected dun yung dalawa natin like uh, those PAL and uh, SEB ah uh, yeah uh, pareha silang pareha silang down today so ayun uh, those are the usual ones na nakikita affected negatively uh, positively naman well yung mga uh, retail retail industry uh, like pure gold SM those na merong grocery type dahil syempre some people would uh, panic buy then so kaya yun sila yung mga medyo okay now let's go to uh, to the news I have two one is uh, Phoenix Petroleum selling uh, 3 billion worth of commercial paper this is to refinance a, their short term loan um, yung paper is uh, pegged at 4.6657% uh, per annum and it will be offered uh, actually kahapon nag start until, until this Thursday yeah until this Thursday for one year Maybe some of you are, are are asking what is a commercial paper? Well, commercial paper is a debt facility ng isang company. Debt facility meaning utang. So, let's say for example, uh, 
si Phoenix would like to uh, will be needing some some cash para to do something maybe refinance a, a loan something similar to this one or uh, needs it for for a project na, na short term then uh, they can opt for commercial paper another uh, another debt vehicle uh, that is popular right now is bond no so bond versus commercial paper well the only difference is that for commercial paper uh yung ano yung yung tenor yeah kasi usually sa commercial paper it's 7 days and uh, up to a maximum of uh, three, <clears throat> 360 days or a, a year while si bond naman uh it could go as high as 10 years maybe 20 years bond if i'm not mistaken right so yun lang yun lang yung difference ng dalawa the other uh, side of the news is a potential delay sa Bulacan Airport ng San Miguel hindi naman siya ganun ka, ka big deal to be honest kasi uh, the, the reason for the delay is uh, because of the pending review ng terms ng DOJ meron lang mga clarification sa news that needs to be addressed by SMC and once that is clear they can go ahead this is in con- in conjunction with the notice to proceed tama bang ano yeah tama notice to proceed uh, which was dated way back no September 18 pa so basically anytime they can they can do the ceremonial groundbreaking uh, and they have that they have planned for uh, for this month. I don't really see this as uh, as a major concern. Um, pero let's see kung may effect ba siya sa uh, SMC. No. Actually, maganda pa nga yung 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 activity niya, yung trading niya kanina. So, yeah. Okay, so done with the news. Now, let's go to uh, some some stocks uh, to to watch. If we remember, so Frutas had a not so good, hindi na not so good eh, as an ugly trading ka- kahapon. And uh, akala ko nga even today uh, magko-continue. Well, it did nung una, uh, first uh, first half of the trading and then the good thing is that nakahabol naman bumawi at uh, sa sa latter part no and it actually closed at 6.34%. If we remember uh, si fruit IPO at 1.68. So right now we are seeing it at uh, 1.51. I'm interested to see kung um kumo sa yung trade niya kanina ah look at that maganda yung ano ah uh, maganda yung setup for tomorrow i think it will continue kasi medyo heavy yung yung volume niya in terms of the bid and even the number of bids medyo mataas na rin so maybe maybe uh, fruit already uh, seen its bottom kahapon and kanina at 1.36 and uh, we'll continue to see it by tomorrow okay the other stock na medyo exciting din is Bicor okay so Berjaya Berjaya uh, as we can see here kanina it closed uh, at 3.20 value turnover 6.02 million which is uh, a good a good a good volume for um, for a stock uh, like Bicor no uh, i haven't really seen any uh, any news recent news about Bicor uh, that could explain why this is happening most likely this is just a um, uh, jockey play no jockey play is not really bad per se it just means that a lot of or a number of 
uh, of individual retail investors or traders are playing the the stock. No. Um, oh wow. Okay, this one is kind of interesting. If you guys are aware of the cup and handle na chart pattern, I can see one forming right now. Uh, let's see kung maka- makukuha ko yung ano ano. So we can plot lines here a potential TP a target price of 450. No? Once this trend continues. Kasi pa, uh, it's picking up ne. No? The important thing lang is kailangan ma-sustain yung uptrend niya and beat this uh, resistance resistance, no? So one is here at 3.42 and then another one dito and ito 3.41 and 3.55 so after that mukhang masaya na kasi the next yeah ito pa rin pala yung isa so ito ito yung mga nakikita ko potential resistance and if it beats it or even kahit bumalik man lang kasi uh, as we know with the uh, cup and handle So, with the uh, cup and handle, ganito yung potential na maging shape niya. No? And then, it'll go down or even uh, mag-shoot up pa. Okay? So, ayun. This is a really good setup for uh, for Bicor. Uh, well done dun sa mga may hawak na. Uh, hopefully, yun sa mga wala, maybe you can try. I think pwede pa dahil sa TP niya na 450. Just be mindful of the resistances na minention ko. Like 341, 355, and 390. Okay, so that is it for me today. Uh, once again, thank you for your time, for your, uh, for listening. And if you have questions, concerns, just feel free to uh, write down some comments below. And I'll try to help answer them for you. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for, uh, for joining me today. And... Um, be safe. I know maulan pa rin until tomorrow. So, ayan. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.